Okay, I'm just going to put a covering around these terminals and um, I've just got some duct tape taken a strip off the side put that in the middle that way I'm not putting sticky glue on the terminals which would make it uh, a worse electrical connection when I come time to actually wire it up but it still should stop me accidentally shorting it out which would be unhelpful okay so next up is the balance wires and I've got these pathetically short connectors from AliExpress and I'm just going to extend them and wire them up and then once I've got all the balance wires sorted then I'll, the final step is to connect it connect all the groups up okay so this is going to be notionally this is up this is the positive end I'm going to put the balance um, the VMS here so I will have it from there Balance wires are used by a VMS, or battery management system, to measure and balance the voltages of the groups of the cells within a battery pack. Battery wires can also be used to just monitor the voltages if you want to run a pack without a VMS. So either way, for a sizable lithium pack with multiple groups of cells in series, it's worth having balance wires. Assuming you're going to use a VMS, you need to check what type of connector it has and also which wires it expects. The most common I've seen on e-bikes is for the BMS to have high current wires for the main battery terminals, plus and minus, and then low current wires across all the battery groups. In my seven group pack, the balance connector will have eight wires, one for the negative end of each group, plus one extra one for the positive of the last group, the top group of the battery. The first and last wires will be connected to the main positive and negative terminals, which means they're actually duplicated because there's already connections to those from the main current wires. But a lot of BMSs do that duplication just to keep the wiring conceptually simple. So small wires across all the battery groups, two fat wires for the heavy current. Uh, and that's what a IMAX V6 or similar charger is expecting. In my case I use an iCharger 1010 as my initial charging machine, which gives me a reasonable amount of measurement and control over the first charge of any new pack I build. To complicate matters, some BMSs save a little bit of time and money by not requiring a duplication of the main negative and or positive battery wire. And you see this most often in cheap Chinese BMSs. So if you are buying a, a cheap BMS from China, you need to make sure that the seller has good instructions on their selling page and you need to make sure you save a copy of them because those Chinese listings can disappear tomorrow. What I tend to do is modify the odd BMSs to work with my standard balance lead setup uh, or create an, an adapter cable. It's worth remembering that the balance leads are connected directly to the battery so you really don't want to short those leads ever. You have to take care when plugging the BMS into the balance wires that you don't misalign the plug connector because that could be very bad as well. Uh, apart from that, hooking up the balance wires is um, pretty straightforward as you can see from this video. And um, there you have it basically. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Feel free to comment uh, or ask questions. I'll be intending at some point to do a um, a Q&A video so if you do have questions you're thinking about doing the same kind of uh, battery pack uh, feel free to ask me about why I did things the way I did or how I could do them differently. Alright thanks for watching and see ya!